The Black Friday frenzy began hours earlier this year at chains like Macy's, Best Buy, and Target. At midnight, 15,000 people poured through the doors at the Mall of America near Minneapolis. 9,000 people lined up outside Macy's flagship store in New York City in hopes of grabbing doorbuster deals. Marshall Cohen is a retail analyst. The demand is there. The consumers have basically asked for this. They're saying, we love these deals. We always come out in droves to take advantage of these deals. Holiday shopping accounts for up to 40 percent of annual sales. Thank you for shopping with me. But many consumers are on tight budgets. Retailers decided the best strategy to increase their share of a shopper's holiday budget was to get customers into their stores before the competition. Some stores began offering Black Friday bargains last night. Toys R Us opened its doors at 9 p.m. Shoppers are savvier than ever, and that, according to Macy's CEO Terry Lundgren, increases the challenge of winning them over. One of the most important trends in the retail business today is what we call the omni-channel consumer, and that's the customer who's either doing research online and shopping in store, or coming into the store and then making her decision or his decision later and buying online. Holiday sales last year increased by 5.2%. But this year, economists are predicting a smaller increase, just 2.8 percent. That could mean more bargains as Christmas draws near. Retailers this year are not only offering earlier deals, but they're, order, they're basically offering more systematic deals now all throughout the holiday season. The National Retail Federation says holiday sales revenue could top $465 billion this year. And Nora, to give you a sense of how much that is, $465 billion is more than the economies of 163 countries. Amazing. Elaine Quijano, thank you.